All right, in this video, I wanted to show off uh, another blind tactic utilizing a bug. Um, I'm sure if this gets reported, it'll be fixed, but it is what it is. All right, so the first thing you want to do is change your sub race to vampire. You could probably um, change it back after you summons. Um, sometimes I do that with Sol Neko. I'll summon a War Pyre Bat Swarm guest and then change the Soul Neko and just use it. But, um, so what you're going to do is you're going to summon the guest that's within the vampire. This guest inflicts bleed, blind, and I think there might be one other thing. Um, it, there's no toggle here, it's weak damage, but it's a, basically a, a status bomb type guest. Um, Probably the best uh, setup for this is you're going to go with Spotter Drake, and then you're going to want the um, the status potence toggle on. Um, you're going to want the Emancipator's Radiance for your blind inflict, and then I'll show a couple of options you have. Um, essentially, the best way to go is any blind inflict that's multiple turns. Uh, Paladin armor has a bl uh, five or six turns uh, blind spell within it. I have mandate here. There's some others. There's a wind blind spell in the Neko shops. But um, however you want to go, um, you can also do the sp the Necromancer armor for the additional. Uh, status potent. So I have 7.5 from the Necromancer, 20 blind potents there, and a 9.3 from the Spotter Drake. If you wanted to, you could probably um, go with the Cracked Ornament Misc for additional. Um, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to see how often I can inflict. Um, but I'm just going to actually switch to Titan's Fall and toggle on the, the extra here. And then I'm going to get into Chaos Born Agent Plate and toggle these guys on. So I'll get plus two blocking per turn for 35 hit points. And then I'll get the, the Dodge Lash effect here. And then I'm going to do Summoning Stone keep it on the dodge last effect so I'll have three different dodge last effects going at the same time but basically the guest bugs out on blinds so I'll show you this one here so we've inflicted blind and then the guest will hit and change it as you can see it's one round of 70,000 so I won't be hit and then I'll just dodge lash and I can keep going, so this is zero rounds now, so it's going to be gone after this attack. So I could also do mandate here. Got six turns of 21. Now it's one round of 138. 138 will still be unhittable. And as you can see, Twenty one again and then one thirty eight again. So it's basically inflicting every time and then just dodge lashing every time. So uh it, it works best with multiple round blind. And then what I would do if I just wanted to use the mandate Just so I can exceed, probably with Lux Change, I think it dropped it to about 108 or 109 to guarantee not being hit. That's versus a level 150 uh, purely accurate build. So that's going to be main stat plus Lux being maxed will be about 108 total.
so I did 246 so more than enough to not be hit and then you have your triple dodge lash there and then you just have to inflict blind every time I'm gonna try one more thing I actually have not tested this yet so I'm gonna be testing this in front of the screen as I record the video but my test is going to be with alchemical unity this also does a multi-turn blind just gonna see how effective this is alright so Since it's based on damage and it's a light weapon, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can Prime Chaos Orb over. Here, let's just flee here. Let's see what happens. All right, we've got five rounds at four, so that's not good. Change it to one of 35. So it looks like with Alchemical Unity, you'll need to, um, might have to go this route here. Two point seven at five, and it changed it to one twenty six. So yeah, that don't, that he won't be able to hit me. So there's different ways you can go just trying to find multi-turn blind inflictions as well as um, figuring out your different potences to try just to get some some attempts at I'm getting it to inflict here 10,000 so the spider drake may be enough in most cases, as you can see, it's just dodge last their entire hit points there. Because the vampire bat swarm guest is doing some crazy stuff with Let's see what I can manage here. 34 just changed to 216 like I said you only need about 108 best case scenario 115 monster with lower stats it's probably maybe 95 or something ninety thousand there. Twenty-two there. Because the blind itself is only one round of tw like this. In this case, it's just twelve from the from the guest.
216 this time. So as you can see, it's just if you just inflict a multi-turn blind every time, uh, the more turns, the higher that blind bugs out because it's, it's almost like it's multiplying it the turns times the blind or something. I don't know what it's doing, but um, let's do one more. Let's see what kind of numbers we have. 6 at 25. It changed to 162. 6 at 25. So what it's doing is it took 6 rounds times 25 for 150 plus the 12 that it inflicted by itself for 162. That's what it's doing. So that's why the absolute darkness side of it is 9999 turns at even if it, if it was one blind, that's why it's multiple thousands because the number of turns is almost 10,000. So that's what it's doing is it's taking turns times the blind amount and then adding its 12 amount or however much it's inflicting. And it's just reduced, it's taking all the turns plus the blind, rolling it into one turn. Not too dissimilar from the Warpower Batswarm Elevon bug. Looks like it's kind of the same concept there. But anyway, um, there you have it. That's one way to just stack your your dodge lashes together. And uh, this guy's probably going to kill me if he goes first here. A spotter drake might be enough to consistently inflict blind. Almost a hundred thousand that time because darkness is just higher. And like I said, just inflict blind every time. Didn't change it that time. Probably gonna get blown up here. See, even versus 80, we've got six rounds at 44. And now it's 272. And it'll kill itself this time here, probably. And there you have it. Quick and dirty way of um, dodge lashing. Obviously, it doesn't really even matter your stats. Luck helps with the infliction, so probably luck would be good to have, but um, known about this bug for a little while. I don't usually use a vampire sub race, but um, this is one way to play dodge lash if you want to take advantage of the bug.